Yo, today we're going to be talking about bass. I mean, who doesn't love bass? This is the vibe that we will be going for. It's a classic FM type bass sound. This type of bass is used a lot in styles like UK Garage, Jungle and various forms of bass music. It's an FM type of bass and you can actually create this in a second. But I don't want to race through it. I will teach you how to do this and actually go a little further than this. So this is the vibe. Let's do this. So FM type bass, what does it mean? We're going to load the FM synth that Ableton Live has. It's called the operator. So looking here, I will be using two oscillators. So I will be turning two oscillators off. Traditionally, FM synth operates with sine waves, but you can take it a little further with this. So you can all already play a sine wave. That doesn't sound very exciting, but you can actually add a lot of tone, timbre, harmonics to the bass using the other oscillators here. Technically, FM synth modulates the pitch of the first oscillator, and that's what I will be doing. You can actually play with many different algorithms that have to do with how and what order the uh, oscillators will be modulated, but I will be keeping it fairly simple for now. So this is pretty much the state that this is the default state. So I'm getting a sine bass. Let me actually copy the notes from the first track. So let me solo this and okay. So how do I add some harmonics to this? There's a second oscillator here above the first one, and I can raise its level. Okay, you're starting to get something, but it's not like my first bass. Okay, it's not even close, but let's go closer. So technically, you can set the pitch of the modulating oscillator here. So now it's set to the same pitch that my first oscillator has. So it's not sounding super interesting. But let me just do something to it. So I'm raising the level of the second oscillator that is modulating the pitch of the first oscillator here. So level could be probably be, you can mess with this later on, but uh, let's go here and I will raise the pitch of the second oscillator here. I'm getting closer, let's compare. It plays a little long. If, when you click on this oscillator here, you will see this envelope and this actually controls the level. Okay, I'm getting closer now. So what else am I going to do? I could maybe do something a little with the filter and maybe add a little resonance spike. It may not be super useful here because I don't have a lot of high, high frequencies, but I can actually create some. So one thing we have here is a shaper, which kind of can actually kind of brutally change the sound. So let's try this setting. It creates a lot of tone, but I want to turn it down a little bit. It sounds kind of nice for a basic FM bass, but I still want to make it a little shorter. Uh, one good thing here is you can set the length of the sound that modulates the pitch of the first oscillator. So when you click on these panels here, I'm seeing the envelope for the level volume of the sound. When I click here, I'm seeing the envelope for the modulating oscillator. So this way you can make it shorter. You can even make, you could even make the whole sound really long and that's not what I'm going for. So I will undo. It's fairly nice. I would say, let, let me compare. Obviously I got reverb. That's what I show you. So, Hey, I kind of matched what I did. So I want to add a little reverb here because it, it does create a bit of ambience. I, I don't usually go for like super big ambiences with bass, but let's go for 
Well, let's take the, let's go to audio effects and hybrid hybrid reverb offers you a lot of different spaces spaces that the sound will play in. One sound that I really like the sound of is spring reverb. It's very springy, as you will hear. You hear this little splashing, and I love that sound. But one thing is, I don't want to make it very long. Here you can blend. It's, this is like the ratio between the convolution reverb that you should definitely check out. It mo it actually creates an actual space for your sound. And this is your old digital, the classic reverb that you've always had in Ableton Live. I will turn this counterclockwise so I'm only getting the spring reverb here. It is really long. I want to make it short. I just need a little bit of ambience for a nice little added spice of sound design. That sounds funny. There's something I like about this. One nice thing about this reverb you shouldn't ignore is this vintage mode. Let me flick through this as the reverb is playing and listen to what it does. It gets really noisy and you get these metallic artifacts. Let me flick this on off. It's so different now, but it's maybe a little too much. So do make good use of this dry wet control. Maybe it's a little too noisy, so I could go uh, a notch down, notch less with the uh, dirtiness of the reverb. There you have it, the classic FM bass. So what else do you even need other than a drum loop? <laughs> Let me try. Because this would be a start of a song. Okay, drums are a little loud. Just do this and get inspired. If you wanted to take the bass a little further, you could, because there's a whole wide variety of stuff you can actually do with the operator. You could, for example, go and add some harmonics to the modulating oscillator and just get wild with the tone, because now I'm just using a sine wave to modulate the pitch of a sine wave. So you could go to the second oscillator or even the first one, and when you click on the sine wave, you get to draw additional harmonics. So you can add a little or a lot of added tone and vibe to the bass. Just get crazy and try something out. So it's kind of nice to find some tones that work. It takes a little time, but it's so worth it. I hope you like it. Enjoy classic FM bass.